came to CIP and what you're doing now. Okay, uh, hi guys, my name is Adriana Singh. I'm 24 and I'm from uh, Southern Indiana, New Albany area. Um, it was, I came here in 08, 09. Um, uh, it was my junior year of college. I went to college at Brescia University in Owensboro, Kentucky. It's a small Catholic liberal arts school. And it was my junior year and I got into an incident with two of my fellow students um, which ended up being very socially traumatic and required some, a, a lot of assistance actually from psychological counseling services and uh, just had some health concerns as a result of that and really wasn't in a good place. And my mom and dad were afraid that I just wasn't in a good place. So they consulted my psychiatrist out of Louisville and my psychiatrist found this little institution, CIP. And uh, as a result of being at CIP, uh, before, before, I was, before I was there at CIP, as a result of the incident, I became very self-conscious. I was very lonely, afraid of, of people, crowds, um, being bullied, I guess, just to give you a little bit, a taste of the incident, being bullied to the point of needing the intervention of the dean um, and stuff. Um, but after coming to CIP, Really, everybody on staff at CIP has played an integral part of helping me recover. But I really give a lot of credit to the man at the camera, Jim Walsh, <laughs> who's my student advisor, um, and Don Weller, who's our clinical psychologist, uh, of taking me back to my happy place <laughs> and making me the happy-go-lucky kid that I used to be and that I am now today. Um, of course, CIP, as Karen said, is a two-way street. You have to really want to be here and have the motivation to be here. But without these wonderful people, heaven only knows where I'd be. Um, and uh, CIP, I, I wrote an article about it one day, and I said it took me it, it took me from the ashes, and it gave me wings and it rolled me up into making me the child that I used to be, or the young woman that I used to be. Um, and now I'm very happy. I'm living off campus. I did uh, go back to Brescia after my year 0809. I graduated with a BA in English and a minor in Spanish. Um, and in the spring <coughs> of 2012, I'm hoping to go to graduate school here at IU for journalism. Um, if not that, then possibly uh, I'm very interested in special ed, um, especially autism, or maybe clinical psychology. So welcome to CIP, and thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Could you talk a little bit about um, the, your, your new addition to your family? <laughs> this is really important, I think. Oh my! Well, some of you, if as you were given tours by me or Thomas, uh, you may have passed a crate back there in the corner. Uh -huh. In that crate is my baby. My baby has four paws, <laughs> and she's blonde, and her name is Lucy. She's a yellow lab, and she is currently a year and three months old. Hello, dear. I'm coming. <laughs> I don't have milk bones, I'm sorry. Um, she's a year and three months old, and uh, she is going to be trained as a service dog for Asperger's and severe uh, nonverbal learning disability. Um, how did this, how did this start? Well, in a, about a year and a half ago, Don actually was the one who put me on the track to finding a service dog and said, you know, out of all the kids here, you may be the kid that needs one because I also have some mild physical disabilities as well. So we got to looking and we looked through, my family and I looked through about 30 agencies that deal with autism, deal with 
psychological uh, <coughs> struggles, deal with motor uh, uh, mobility problems, and everybody said no. Um, you are either too high functioning, you are too busy, because I, I was in college, I was completing my degree, or you just don't fit our clientele at this time. And so it was this last summer, I believe in April, we first went to a breeder in Mockport, Indiana, which is southern Indiana. Um, and we found at Dixie Run Labradors and we found Lucy. And since then, Lucy has been in partnership with Canine Companions, which is a training center here in Bloomington. And she will be trained for Asperger's and learning disability. Asperger's, she'll work uh, to facilitate peer interaction, provide anxiety reduction, <laughs> and uh, learning disability. Uh, people will say, when I tell them nonverbal learning disabilities, I say, wow, you have a vocab that's six miles long. <laughs> but no, it's basically she will be trained to lead me home because of severe difficulties with abstract reasoning and getting lost a lot. Um, so, if I'm lost, I'll just say, Lucy, go home, and she'll be like a little GPS with four feet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Any questions? Your website. Oh, yes. <laughs> I do also uh, run a blog on oh, yeah. autism and service dogs and the benefit that a service dog can have yes. in the life of a child with autism. It's called pawsandpuzzles.blogspot.com. It's P A W S A N D puzzles.blogspot.com. And um, feel free to check it out. Uh, you say that again. You can write it on the board when you're done. Blog. Too. Huh? I still think you Okay, Thomas, do you want? Okay. Um, hello, my name is Thomas Schneider. Uh, I am currently enrolled at. Um, Ivy Tech doing biotech. Um, I, I started out at Winberg uh, studying uh, just general study and then I tried to move into chemistry and it just didn't work out for me. Uh, among the things that I struggled with at Winberg uh, were uh, hygiene and uh, keeping my room tidy because uh, I had roommates move out on me because they just didn't like the way my room was like done. So um, <laughs> what happened is my parents would come up every week and end up cleaning my room and putting me back on track. And they were also very they were also very annoyed because I never would contact them. They were always uh, having to surprise me or come up, and uh, this like worried them. So what they did is they started looking into things, and uh, uh, I, uh, they actually, Adrian Nissan, uh, or Adrian. her, Adria, um, her uh, mother is a client of my father who's a doctor, uh, and she, uh, they, uh, her mother told my father about this place. And my father checked it out, and like it was in the reserve for a while, and then I had like a sort of a social like thing that uh, turned ugly. Uh, there was this girl who started accusing me of just like following her, and I wasn't, and I wasn't even close to her, and I didn't really know her all that well, and like just the sheer stress of that really broke me. Uh, and uh, I, I came back, uh, or I came here in very low spirits, thinking that I'd never amount to anything. Uh, but as I, uh, as I went in this program, uh, I've made some strides. I've had my ups and downs. Um, the residential staff has helped me get my room in order time and time again, uh, as I will fall off the radar for a while. Um, and it, it's just, it, it's, a, it's a thing here. You use what you need, and it's really, um, it's really a friendly open community. And people, people are overall very helpful here.
Good job. Thank you.